Hi, it's great to have you back. Have you ever thought about starting a business but thought it was too risky? Then maybe starting a business on the side is for you. This video will show you what's involved. If you decide to become self-employed on a part-time basis, you will need to register with the authorities. If you work on freelance basis, you usually only need to register with the tax authorities. Depending on the country in which you work, there are different criteria for being classified as a freelancer. In the end, it is always a case-by-case -case decision. A tax advisor can help you with the correct classification. If you do not meet the criteria for freelance work, you must register a business with a re relevant trade office. Of course, you must also declare your second job in your tax return. After all, you are liable for income tax, VAT and, if applicable, business tax. You must also fulfill your obligation to submit an advance VAT return. This is necessary so that the tax authorities know how much VAT you have charged to your customers and therefore how much tax you have to pay. When you start a business, you should also choose the right legal form for your company. This will determine your tax obligations, your accounting and the extent of your liability for negligence. If you start a business as a sideline, you have a big advantage in terms of social security. You are covered by your main job. But beware, if your profits exceed a certain amount, they will be deducted from your income from your main job. In the worst case, you should be faced with high additional claims. This limit may vary depending on the country in which you work. In addition to these points, you should also minimize the risk of bogus self-employment. You can do this by following these points. You can choose when, where and how you work. You can set your own prices and charge a reasonable fee. You have your own premises in which to carry out your work. You are not involved in the organization of your clients. You work for more than one client. Finally, we'll look at a question that many self-employed people ask themselves. Should you tell your main employer? After all, transparent communication is fairer for everyone involved. There are three things you should keep in mind when telling your employer about your plans. Your part-time job must not compete with your employer. Your main job must not suffer because of your second job. If you go on holiday or sick leave in your main job, you should not use this time for your second job. Instead, you should use this time to recover. As you can see, a part-time job is a great way to test out a business idea. You're not under pressure to make your business a complete success right away and you have a safety net if your concept doesn't work out. However, you should still prepare throughoutly and organize yourself well for a side business. That brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to share your questions and experiences in the comments. Did you enjoy the video? Then I would appreciate a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. That way you'll never miss a video again. See you next time.